this year's nine. So we have two more questions. Number 10 here asking us um, seven twelfths as a percent. Okay. Seven twelfths as a percent. So uh, there, again, there's two ways to think about this problem here. We have seven twelfths here is, is a fraction, right? This guy here is a fraction. And I want a percentage, right? But again, if I want a percentage here, think of a percentage here. This has to be, um, our denominator is going to have to be 100, right? So and again, if you look at the denominator here, we have 12. So it's actually very hard to make, uh, there's no direct relationship between 12 and 100 here. So what I would do to this fraction is I would actually change this to a decimal first. So I would go from fraction to decimal first and then from decimal to percentage here. So let me do this first for you. So again, if I wanted to change a seven fraction to decimal, I'm simply doing this concept of long division, right? So I put 12 here as my, the denominator here as my um, divisor, and then put seven here as my dividend, right? And again, the decimal place is always here, and I would have a zero here. So let's do some long division. Seven times what number would be close to 70? It would be five, I believe, five, would give me 60, right? Five times 12 here is 60. This here, 70 minus 60 here is 10. Bring down the zero. My next one should be eight here. Five times, 12 times eight here is 96. 100 minus 96 here is four. Bring down the zero again. 12 times three is the closest guy here, which is 36. 40 minus 36 here is four. I bring down the zero. And then basically, if I kept adding zeros here, I would keep, I would have to keep adding threes here, right? Because again, 36 minus three, you give me four, bring down the zero, I would have to keep, that basically repeats. So I can say that this here is three here repeats, right? So this five, eight, three here uh, repeats uh, as my decimal. So in this case here, my decimal here is 0 0.583. So this here is 0 0.583 bar. And what I can do to this is I can finally change this into a percentage, right? So if I had a percentage, again, 0 0.583, if I want to change this to a percentage, I'm simply just multiplying by 100%, right? So if I multiply this by 100%, this would give me, again, I'm moving the decimal place one and then two. So I have 58.3 bar percent, or you can round this to 58.3% here. And this here is my percentage for this problem here. 58.3% is my correct solution. As you can see, the solution here is correct, right? 58.33, I just wrote 58.3% here is the correct solution. So the solution is correct. Good analysis. Um, I Let's see, let's see what they did here. They changed the seven to one twelfth, and they knew that the part of, 12th part of one is 0 0.8333. So the, again, this here is the uh, combination of the memorization method plus the long division method here. So solution is correct. Um, uh, good analysis if you know uh, common fractions as decimals. If not, then long division is required to solve for the, for the decimal before we change it to a percentage. The solution here is correct. In